What is up guys? I'm here today with the truth of Boston, Ohio. Boston, Ohio is a town in northwestern Ohio, northwestern Ohio that in 2016 a girl was killed by a quote-unquote bear that the police eventually went in and shot a innocent bear that was not even part of it. Um, in 1974, 1974, Gerald Ford went and visited visited can't say that well visited visited I don't even know how to freaking say it visited Boston Ohio aka Helltown aka Helltown Ohio but um the quote unquote bear is actually a creature that looks a lot like this up top where the cursor is um you go down there's Gerald Ford in December 1974, the day the evacuation orders were signed. December 27th, they were signed. Okay, Nin December 27th, they were signed. Two days earlier, he was visiting Helltown, Ohio. Now this is what the apparent... Is that zoomable? That's not zoomable. Nope. Or is it? Yeah, just yes, no, maybe. Okay, this right here on the left is the apparent Windigo. God dang it, Jesus. Okay, I am going to work on scrolling it up while my PlayStation craps itself. Okay, this is the. Okay, this is the Wendigo, Wendago, it's called. Um, he's a, it's the apparent creature that was mutated there that killed the girl last year in 2016. I do believe in that now because that video of the girl getting killed was released onto YouTube. There is one video left of it one video left. In December 1975, the U.S. government exercised eminent domain and ordered the emergency complete evacuation of a small town named Boston. Boston is this town right here, Helltown. This bus has a conspiracy to it that it is holding holy spirits. I don't know what they mean, but the Holy Spirit. But um, thousands of people were forced to leave their homes, even those whose families have, had lived there for generations. The government claimed they were buying up homes and businesses and evicting citizens from the town to create a national park. This was said in 1975 they were going to build a national park. The national park was not built till 2008. That is 33 years later. 33 years later from when they evacuated to this town till th 2008. 2008, they finally built this. They finally built the national park. Truly, what is what is being hidden here, so to say? It is a government cover-up, just as the same in 19... 67 when NYPD shot 20 unarmed people privately not privately but peacefully protesting in New York they shot 20 unarmed people and they had a bonfire not the NYPD the people had a bonfire in the streets NYPD went up and shot them instead of arresting them the news, not the media, put it out as just a little fire. 
They didn't say anything about the NYPD shooting 20 unarmed people. That is never said. Jesus, I'm still sick. But, um... They believed the town was haunted. The United States government was per yeah, perpetrating. There we go. Perpetrating a massive cover-up on the American public by evacuating Boston, Ohio. There it is, folks. Massive cover-up. Gov United States government perpetrating a massive cover-up. Little kid. Okay, in an effort to hide the paranormal and occult, I can't say cult, there we go, occult, occult, however you want to say that, activities that had taken over their town. There's a lot of freaking things with this. The conspiracy. Ugh. Um, they had human sacrifices there. They had cults there. Crops failed. Um, in 1970... No, in 2000, the people figured out, um, there was a... Here, it's probably down here. Here's the 2016. After over 40 years of relative quiet surrounding the area... Once known as Boston, Ohio, another disturbing incident had occurred in Helltown. Visiting Helltown's haunted hotspots has became a rite of passage for many teenagers in neighboring towns. On October 13th, 2016, four teenagers trespassed into a fenced-in restricted government area within the National Park. The night of fun turned deadly. One of the teenagers was killed and two more severely injured. Official records say that an animal had attacked them. An animal. The YouTube video I watched of the cell phone footage of that girl getting killed, that was not an animal at all. That was nowhere near an animal. That was a figure. They say it, it was a bear, because days later a bear was identified as the culprit and shot. That is not a bear. Truly, that is not a bear. Nothing has been said on media about this. Nothing has been said. When it happened last year, nothing was said. Not even one thing was freaking said about this. Not one thing. Oh yeah, the cra- the crazy junk- Yeah, crazy junk- Yeah, freaking Obama. The crazy junk- I'm done talking. The crazy dump. The dump was part of a privately owned dump occupying 47 acres near Helltown's perimeter. In the late 1960s, there were accusations of the government illegally disposing toxic chemicals here, which was causing the townspeople to get sick. Even mutate. Even mutate. The quote-unquote bear is not a bear. It's that creature thing. Because you go down, that... It, you can see it right there. There's a freaking figure that is not a bear. It's next to this tunnel that is not a bear. But apparently it is. But um, this, they were disposing toxic chemicals. The infamous fire on the Cuyahoga River only increased the rumors. The Krejci family, Krejci, Krejci, don't know how to say that, Krejci, family who owned the land and dumped and dump site have never been fully forthright with what was on their land. Investigation of the site revealed thousands of leaking drums of unknown substances. These unknown substances on this dump is the reason that girl was killed last year and those two others were injured. Truly they, the dump, the chemicals poisoned the ground and air around there. There is the dump, all of the cans you can see right there. The toxic cans that got into the ground, got into the woods of Helltown, and mutated a deer, making a Wendago. A Wendago does sound fake as heck, but it's a Wendago. But let's go back up to the 2016 killing. 
Many suspicious details emerged from that night. Unusually, there was no publicly available report of the teenager who died. A report, a near sopsy report released on the sus on the supposed suspect, the bear. The bear. The bear is not even no. Okay, um, what was I gonna read? Okay. And the teenager survivors of the incident, just like Everett McMahone, 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 there you go, 40 years before then, refused to speak publicly about what happened, as if they were being, as if they are being silenced. As if they are being silenced. Hey. You think this has anything to do with the government or anything? Rumor has it that cell phone video of the attack exists. And the video indicates that it wasn't a bear. It was not a freaking bear behind the attack. It. I have been unable to locate this video to date, but should I find it? There we go. There we go. That is the teenager that was killed last year in October. But just remember that date. October 13th, 2016. Just remember that date. Okay, we... Is there something up here? October 13th, 2016. It's up here somewhere. Cause in November 2016, November, November, a month after that girl was killed, all the buildings that were still standing in Helltown were taken down. All of the buildings. Literally all. It is a government cover-up. Truly. Because when they evacuated this town, they brought in armed soldiers to push out the people. And somehow, three of the armed soldiers and two townsfolk were killed as they were evacuating this town. Five people. Five innocent people were killed. No way of knowing. They just disappeared. They just disappeared. Oh yeah, this guy put out the video footage on YouTube of the girl getting killed, of what was chasing them. It was taken down by the government, so that is always nice. He says watch it now before the government takes it down. It already got taken down, so that's... The government's not hiding anything from us. But, um, there's Gerald Ford in Colorado day it was signed two days earlier in Ohio he was vis visiting and said for an evacuation but um cults were there human sacrifices the KKK was there W cult was there um kidnappings 14 shot by the FBI and cult compound shooting um there's a lot about this I didn't find out about it till a documentary I watched on Destination America. Um, I sound like crap, but there's a lot that happened, and I will see you guys next time, probably with a GTA video, but Helltown, Ohio. There you go. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, where's that freaking...